Hello, today I'm at Parabell in the Cheviot. <laughs> the sheep are being very noisy and uh, to be honest I don't really have much of a plan today. <laughs> Yesterday was my daughter's birthday and we were a little bit busy yesterday and we were running around here, there and everywhere and then by the time it got around to trying to plan the walk it was like you know, after midnight put it that way and uh, I had intended on going to the lakes and doing an, the epic Newlands watershed walk which is like 10 Wainwrights and about 16 miles, uh, 15, 16 miles. And, uh, but that required a really early start. And because by the time I got all the planning sorted out and worked out where I was going and what have you, the maps, it was like after midnight, there was no way I was going to get up at four o'clock in the morning and then drive all the way to the lakes and then do a 15, 16 mile epic walk, one of the hardest in the Lake District. So, I kind of got knocked on the head. So I had to think of something to do for today. So my uh, backup plan for the Newlands uh, watershed walk, if the weather wasn't playing ball, was to do the Old Waterway, all 20 miles. I wanted to do something like long distance today. But, <laughs> That also meant having an early start and that was the reason why I couldn't do the, the lakes. So I had all planned to go to the lakes today and uh, it didn't happen unfortunately. So I had the choice between coming to the Cheviot, the North Pennines or uh, the coast. That was my choice. And I mean, fancy doing a, a walk in the Pennines, but it's a lot of peat hags, a lot of heather bashing, and to be honest, I didn't really fancy it. And I've just realised I've left my poles at the car. Ugh. I hope I left them in the car and not on the side of the car like I normally do. <laughs> oh well, I'm not going to go back for them now. Um, Oh, I've lost my train of thought now. <laughs> yeah, so uh, the old waterway, yeah, and then uh, the coast. So yeah, I thought about going to the coast because I could really do going to the coast, to be honest, clear my hair fever. Um, but the the thing I want to do at the coast is like uh, part of like hidden history, like a hidden history walk. It's not really a walk, to be honest. It's more like exploring and uh, unfortunately it needs the tide to be out and the tide's in at the moment so I couldn't do that and then I didn't fancy doing the North Pennines because it was a lot of heather bashing and a lot of peat hags and a lot of ticks as well so I didn't really fancy that so it was the Cheviot <laughs> and uh, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do today at the Cheviot but I thought we'll go for a a ramble and see what happens. The sky's gone a bit dark. <laughs> I hope I'm going to be all right. I've not got any waterproofs with me today. On the plus side, I know, but I've definitely left my walking poles inside the car, not outside, because I had them on the back seat, which is probably the reason why I forgot to bring them. I didn't have them in the boot. But also, I got distracted. There was a uh, a man there had pulled up and uh, he was looking at the, the map at uh, Wedder's Leap trying to work out where he was and I said, oh, where are you going? And he said, I don't know. I said, okay, uh, so what was the purpose of you driving out? He said, oh, to do a seven mile walk. I said, well, what's the place where you're walking to? What was the destination? He said, don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to help you, Nate. I don't know how a map's going to help you. <laughs> he says, uh, it was GPS coordinates I have that we're walking to. And uh, unfortunately, GPS doesn't work here. Which is, just goes to show what I keep saying to people. 
GPS doesn't work everywhere. And here's one of the places it doesn't work. You get no mobile phone either here. So, uh, something to be wary of, bring a map with you. Because you never know, you might need it. The rain's starting. Hopefully it'll just be a shower. <sighs> a big crack of thunder there before. That's not good. Big cloud of uh, crows flew up in the air. It was like something out of the start of Vikings. Season one, episode one. <laughs> I'll try and do this quick because of the rain. But that's one of my favourite views in the Tuviates. It's not my favourite, favourite, but it's in my top five. That's the path from Barrow Bird to Middle Hill. Okay, I'm taking a little bit of a gamble here. I think if I drop down to the cottage at the bottom here, which according to my map is called Fairhoff, and then I follow this road up around through the trees and get on to Clennell Street, which will take me over the top of here. And then what I'm thinking of is I'll come down here onto the edge of these trees here and follow them trees up to the top of this one, which is Yarn's Path Law, which is one of the Jews in Northumberland. I'm not sure if the thunder will take a bit of a gamble. I think we'll do that. Because um, up to now I've had no real purpose for this walk. I was just like, busy ambling and then I thought, well, let's try and do something. Eh? So let's try and look off a Dewey. This here is Middle Hill. <coughs> and as you can see, it was once all woodland. Personally, I don't mind that kind of woodland being felled. If it was mixed woodland, then I'll be a bit upset but Percy conifer plantations they don't really do much for me don't really like them at all to be honest It's proper on raining now. <laughs> I've not got the waterproofs with me, but my stuff's fast drying, so I'm not worried. But the camera might need to go in the box now. So, I'll probably have to do a commentary when I get home. <laughs> Unless it stops raining, which I hope it does. is that the waterproof casing is steaming up and making the camera wet inside the case so um, <laughs> I'm stuck in a really heavy rain shower at the moment so I think that's gonna be the end of my walk so I'm gonna head back to the car and get drenched in the meanwhile uh, <laughs> I'm soaked <laughs> so I failed walk in the TV this is the reason why I was gonna to go to the Lake District today it's sunny over there so let's catch you on the next one.